We are now going to consider the Financial Intelligence Center Act, or FICA for short. Now, the goal of FICA is to combat money laundering. Now, money laundering is an activity that tries to conceal the source of money gained illegally. Now, what does that mean? Let's say, for instance, I do something illegal and I make a nice five million with my illegal activity. Now, I'm a very generous person and I say that everyone that pass Ari can join me for a party at Big Island Santa. And it's net the lucker. It's Don Perignon and Cuban cigars and we dance on the tables. And the bill comes and the bill is a nice 240,000. You stand next to me. I'm not batting an eyelid. I'm not breaking out in sweat. I just take out this money out of my back pocket and I pay the bill and I add a nice 60,000 rand for the yummy waiter. If you now ask me where do you get your money from Anna, do you think I can answer you honestly? No, obviously not. I'm going to go to jail. But I'm a clever and I take my five million and I buy a house and I take a bond out on the house. If you now ask me, Anna, where do you get your money from? I say a bond on my house, which is a legal activity. And that is money laundering. Obviously, the crooks are more clever than me because a person is just going to ask me, and now where the hell did you get the money from to buy the house? Okay. And that's why I still do training and I don't do illegal things. Um, the crooks, what they do is they will take the money that they gained illegally and they will do the same action, but they will do it with a lot of smaller amounts in a lot of smaller institutions. And they like to hide behind other people. So I will buy the house on a trust in the name of my children, for instance. Now, the act of money laundering has been many moons ago and criminalized by POCA, the Prevention of Organized Crimes Act. But this was like a little white elephant because nobody was being prosecuted under this act because there was nobody actually keeping track of these transactions and that is why what FICA does it combats money laundering by by establishing the financial intelligence center now what the financial intelligence center does it collates transactions that was done with various institutions and if they see then there's a pattern of suspicious transactions or maybe just one suspicious transaction, they will then report it to the relevant authorities. But obviously, the Financial Intelligence Center cannot do their job if they do not have the information regarding transactions. And that is why the Financial Intelligence Center Act um, has made any institution that can be used for and money laundering purposes accountable and these institutions is called accountable institutions and in, in, any institutions where you can put money in or take money out for instance a money lender or a bank or a gambling house is then known as an accountable institution now what FICA does it imposes duties on accountable institutions so that the Financial Intelligence Center has the necessary information so that they can collide transactions and therefore we can combat money laundering. Certain institutions also only have a report of reporting duty known as reporting institutions, which is motor dealers and dealers in Kruger Rands. We are now going to look at the main duties that is imposed on accountable institutions. The first one is that they must do a due diligence. Now, the accountable institution must go identify which type of clients or which type of products will lend itself to money laundering activities. And then a due diligence must be done on that clients as prescribed in the risk management and compliance program. The second duty is that an accountable institution must maintain their FICA records for a minimum of five years 
of determination of relationship. Now, if the accountable institution outsourced this function, then the Financial Intelligence Center Act must also be informed of the particulars of the third party to whom this function was outsourced. The third one is that the accountable institution must give the Financial Intelligence Center access to information. So if the Financial Intelligence Center request if a certain person is a client or if a certain person is acting on behalf of a client, then you must give them that information. Also, a representative of the Financial Intelligence Center can visit the offices of an accountable institution during working hours by virtue of a warrant. A warrant is not needed if the information is open to the public. Now, you also have to be nice to that representative and give him assistance if he wants to make copies of any documents, etc. And then the last duty is that the accountable institution must report suspicious transactions. Now, they must report any cash transactions of 25,000 and or more or any unusual transactions or transactions also that I think relates to terrorist activities. And this was reported to the Financial Intelligence Center by latest two days. Now, the Financial Intelligence Center can request the accountable institution not to continue with the transaction for not more than 10 working days. Now, all accountable institutions and reportable institutions must register with the Financial Intelligence Center. Changes to information that was given on registration must be relayed to the Financial Intelligence Center within 90 days of change. And the Financial Intelligence Center keeps a register of all institutions that's registered with. What I need you to understand is that with the FICE Act, that the FICE Act is only applicable to representatives, key individuals and compliance officers of a financial services provider. But FICA is different because FICA is applicable to all employees of an accountable institution. And that is why apart from the four main duties, FICA also wants an accountable institution to implement measures to promote compliance of their staff with FICA. And the first one is that they must have a risk management and compliance program. And they must provide training in this regard to all of their staff. And then lastly, they must appoint a FICA compliance officer. In other words, they must have a compliance function specifically dedicated to compliance with FICA to assist the board to ensure compliance with FICA. Because the board of an accountable institution is ultimately responsible for the compliance of the accountable institution with FICA. And then lastly, we're going to look at the penalties that can be imposed on accountable institutions or persons. Um, if an accountable institution or person doesn't adhere to the main duties, then it's a maximum fine of 100 million or 15 years in prison. Uh, if they conduct offences related to inspections or they hinder or obstruct the appeal board or they fail to attend when summons or they fail to answer fully or too fully when summons, then it's a maximum fine of 10 million or five years in prison. But please go familiarize yourself with all the penalties um, and it's in the study material. Thank you so much for your time and good luck with the rest of your studies.